Okay, today I want to show to you the rectangular coordinate system example. We use the concept of projectile motion by throwing the ball from 6 meter high. Okay, from the rectangular coordinate example that we have shown, the ball was thrown from the A to the point B with a distance of 10 meter and the point A with the height of 6 meter and the time is 1.21 seconds. Okay, now you want to find the magnitude of velocity of the ball at point B. To get the VA value, we must use these equations. And then for the VA value, we can get the VAX value and the VAX value is equal to VBX. And then we must find the VBY value by using these equations. And finally, we can get the magnitude of VB by using the value of VBX and the VBY that we have found. And finally, this is the VB magnitude value. Okay, for this part, I want to show to you the example of anti coordinate system. A motorcycle will go to the roundabout with a covalent motion. From the anti-coordinate example that we have shown, the motorcycle went through the roundabout with the curvilinear motions. The velocity is in a function of time and the row is the 15 meter. To get the magnitude of V, we must substitute the value of T from the V in a function of time that was given. And then, to get the tangential acceleration, we must differentiate the value of V respected to time. And then, we must insert the value of time. And then, to get the normal accelerations, we must use this formula. And finally, we can get the magnitude of accelerations by using the AT value and the AN value. For this part, I want to show the example of cylindrical coordinate system. And now, I want to screw up the screw by rotating it anti-clockwise direction. Okay. From the cylindrical coordinate example that we have shown, the screw is rotating anti-clockwise and there's three components involved in these actions with a component, theta component and z component. The theta and z component is in the function of time and the time is 0.5 seconds. Okay, first of all, we must differentiate all the three components before insert it in the velocity and acceleration equations. Okay, to find the velocity, we must use this equation and insert all the differentiate component that we have calculated. And then, to get the magnitude of velocity, we must square root the sum of all components that have been squared. And then, to find the acceleration, we must use these equations and insert all the value of components. And finally, to get the magnitude of accelerations, we must square root all the sum of all components that have been squared. 